my channel lately that I want to talk about. And uh, if, if it looks like I'm all tired already, it's because <laughs> we just did this. We messed up and didn't have the camera turned on and I talked for I don't know how long. And that was me. <laughs> I'm pretty well done with talking. I'm not a big talker. I don't like to talk. But anyways, I will try to do it again. So anyways, we've had comments on, on our videos about horse pulling. Not just horse pulling, but whenever I've done something very strenuous for the horses, like when I pulled that big boulder out of the wood, out of the field, and even some of my logging stuff. So, uh, the, the one comment that I'm thinking of is he was saying how um, he didn't want the horses to be hurt. Well, as I think back over the years, and I've been doing this for a long time, I don't really recall any time where my horses have actually been hurt from pulling. So, I don't think I ever have. Um, now, I don't doubt at all that it could most definitely happen, but I think that I've been doing it long enough that I have not hitched onto these heavy loads um, and put horses in situations like this until I feel that they're ready for it physically and mentally. And that varies from different times throughout the years, throughout the year as to how well they are. Um, so when I hitch them on these heavy loads, they are ready to do it. And so I've never really had any issues with horses getting hurt. Like I said, I'm sure people have. Um, another thing that people have talked about is, is about the horse poles, is that it's, whoa, we got an Amish here. Gulp. Yeah. Gotta be really careful in the North Country, especially with truck and trailer. On a curve. Yeah. Mm. Anyways, what was I talking about? Okay. Horse is getting hurt. Yes, so we had a, a guy comment, and I don't remember who is, what his name is, and it doesn't matter, but he was quite disappointed when he found out, when he saw me pulling my horses on that loaded stone boat, the last video, and I think the fact that we're going to a horse pull today. And he was disappointed enough that he said he's going to unsubscribe. Well, he has that right. I'm disappointed that he's doing that, because most of the videos, I think he's, seems like he's enjoyed. Um, but uh, as far as the horse poles go, um, let me talk a little bit about that. Like I said, this is the second time going through, so it's a little bit harder to, to remember what I had to say. Um, but when I go to a horse pole, I like to have them in great shape. Now, the other day when I was pulling that loaded stone bow, he thought my horses lunged into the load as if I had in kind of insinuating that I had whipped them or done something to them to that they felt that they had to dive into that load. I personally felt they went to that load very easily without any lunging. Um, now today, being I knew it was a horse pull, I have fed them so that they are, um, I just feed, I just feed whole oats and corn. But I've no, you don't feed corn. Hay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just feel hope, oats, and hay, and, and grass at night. And uh, just a little minerals. And minerals. And so I have upped their grain a little bit the last few days. So because of that, they're going to have more energy than they would have on, on, a, on an everyday basis. Also, they did not work yesterday at all. So I am hoping that they're going to have quite a bit of energy there today. And when they hitch onto these loads today, I'm going to have to, I will have a harder time holding them back so they don't lunge into it because they're feeling good. And that's a good thing. That's not bad at all. And they get excited when they go to horse When bowls. they're at a new place like that, they will always get excited. And when you hitch on to heavier loads, they are excited. They yep. know how it's harder to pull and they're excited. Not just mine, but all these other guys that are there, their horses are excited. The adrenaline is flowing. So it, it seems like maybe they did something to make that happen with they did other than just feed them more grain and giving them a day off so they, they have that energy. Well, you did. some people do do things. Yes, and I'm not denying the fact that there are some abuse going on in horse pulling just like any other sport. Take the Olympics. There's a ton of abuse going on in the Olympics. But, you know, some people get away with it, some people don't. Um, and even at horse pulls, most of the time... Some people do it and some people don't and we don't. Right. Majority of people do not. So, anyways, uh, my goodness, there was 
lot more I talked about in the first stretch, but maybe it's just as well. It was too long, anyways. But this I'm, is an abbreviated version, and I think you got most of most th most things in it that you said before. Okay. I hope so. So, so anyways, if you, I guess maybe I could say if you don't like horse pulls, you surely don't have to watch my horse pulling videos. Um, just be maybe a little bit more accepting of me liking horse pulls. And that's what I'm going to do. I want to. I want to show you. I don't want to just show things that are are just use my horses farming because that's not the real me. I do all this other stuff also. Another thing about horse pulling. Um, I don't think we talked about this yet. The fact that the, the ego. Did, did you yeah, you talk. Not no, not not this time. <laughs> So this other guy was saying, uh, why do I do that? Is it is it more of an ego thing of why I pull out horse pulls? And that's a good question. A question I've actually thought quite a bit about. And I'd like to completely deny that that's the reason I go to horse pulls. But the more I think about it, I, I think to be honest, I think that is somewhat of a it is somewhat of an ego thing. I don't think anybody that goes to sports wants to go and take last place. They want to do their best. So yeah, to a degree, it is an, uh, an, an ego. Um, and it feels really good when you've done well at a sport. Um, and I, I think that you're doing this in, in some ways to promote horse pulling and you want and everybody should if they have something that they feel people look at at a bad light but they know there's good to it they should try to promote it in a good light yes i just thought of another reason why why i go to horse pulls and this is probably what i've had in my mind for years now i have logged with my horses for years now some people may think it's it's cruel to make these horses pull these big loads but these this is what these horses are bred for this is why you know this is this is how they're 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 bred for. So, anyways, when I'm logging in the woods, they pull just as hard when I'm logging in the woods as they do at a horse pull. I hitch onto logs and trees sometimes that they cannot pull, um, and so they try really hard, but then they just cannot pull it. And that's the same at a horse pull. You go to the point where you just can't cross that road, but. One of the reasons why I pull horses is because when I'm in the woods and I hitched onto a, a log or a tree and they pull really, really hard, to me, that is so impressive. I'm not impressed by much, but to see a pair of horses really getting down there and pulling, that's very impressive. Well, I'm in the woods all alone. Nobody else saw that. So that's another reason. I mean, you might call this a pretty lame reason to do it, but it's, it's so that other people can enjoy what I get to enjoy every day when I'm in the woods. They get to see a pair of horses pulling really hard and pulling a tremendous amount of weight. And it's impressive. And it really says nothing for me. It says it promotes the horse. You know, it's showing what a horse can do. I didn't pull that load. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the trainer. I'm the coach. But I didn't do the work. I mean, so often the athletes get a tremendous amount of praise but the coach actually gets a lot of praise too because he had something to do with that but it's still it's the athlete that did it it's the horse that accomplished that not me well said well said thank you thank you very much i know the, the ring is it's happening at the ring the white ring right now where you guys drop off your horses. yeah to weigh up okay thank you coming into the fair there's some guys up there it's always hard to figure out where you're supposed to go if you haven't been there in a while. Looks like there's some horses here already. We're not the first ones, even though Jim said we're early. So Jim's just unloading and the horses are getting used to their new surroundings. I know. It'd be nice that there'd be some shade for them. Laid, what do you think? Bill's upset because he's left alone in the trailer. Lady doesn't care. Weighing time. Mind if 
I film you? Oh no. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Bill didn't stand quite long enough for the electric scales to register. He had to stand still for about five seconds for it to actually register. The beat? Yeah, because like it'll, it just, it doesn't give, it just goes everywhere, 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 and then it'll beat, but that's the number. I never used this gun. Yeah, so. Really? Yeah, oh yeah, go ahead. Jim just said he's here in a loose shoe. He was checked him yesterday and he was surprised he didn't hear anything or see anything. Now he gets here and he hears a loose shoe. This happens. What can you do? So Jim is getting the horses are the horses are being checked by the the vets just to make sure that all the papers are in line. That's part of so, the normal routine. So one of the big things we do at horse falls is sit and wait. We get here so early so that we can get the horses weighed up that um, there's a lot of time. And I think one of the things Jim likes most about horse falls is just going around and chatting with his buddies that he's made throughout the years. These have a air. That's nice, but I still think it would be not fun to have on all the time. These guys are excited for their grain. Yeah, I know. They don't mind as long as they get grain. Right, guys? Right, lady, you excited? He's hungry. So, Bill is getting harnessed up. Jim's starting the process. They're starting to call for the Teamsters to come and they're going to have a meeting and get going. It always makes me a little bit nervous. I'm sure the horses are a little bit nervous too. They know what's going on but they seem pretty chill today. I enjoy hitching Ebner for Jim so we recruited Elizabeth, a friend of ours, to do the videography today. This is Jerry LeClaire starting out the class. It was a very small class, only three teams with, with him and Jim and then also Billy Thomas. Here we are heading in for the first load. Our friend Bud is helping me hitch Evener um, onto the stone boat. So this is Bill Thomas, and he was a previous owner of Bill, our horse, and he brought him home from Ohio, and he was telling us this morning the story of bringing him home as a, a young horse um, in the middle of a snowstorm in January and the trials they went through.
This is Jerry LeClaire's team, and on the left is Eric Morse. He used to do a lot of hitching for us in years back. Um, now he's got a big family, and this is his daughter Elizabeth, and she's been doing some taping for us, and I appreciate that very much. Here with the big boys, <laughs> but I'm only gonna show if Billy does good, so you better do good. You better do good. Don't tell him I'm doing it. This isn't all the hitches from today, but we wanted to give you some of the highlights of some of the polls that we saw going on today. And here we have Jerry LeClaire hooking on to the last load. No one was able to cross this load. like Lady and Bill took first place today. Um, they just, they didn't pull the last load out, but they pulled it the furthest of the three teams. So um, I'm kind of happy for them. They've had a busy week, a hard week, and I'm glad to know that they um, get a, a rest now. What'd you say? Okay, I'm going to come up now and get these later. Yeah, come on. to me? Thank you. Yep. That's what he just said. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. Thank you. You're looking at a very nice team, boy. Give him my hand. So since um, the horse is won, lady gets the distinction of having some blood drawn. They pick at random one of the winners and send away the results for just to make sure there's no doping going on. Lady's being very good. We'll have to give her a special treat okay. for what she did. So here are the winners. We're very happy for the success today.